How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage. We're finally doing the uh, oil dipstick O-ring on the E53. So this has an M54 engine. This would be the same on M52, M52 TU, uh, M56. This pretty much everything has these O-rings on the dipstick. And they look like this. Here's the dipstick. This one's a little longer on the E53. And this goes down in the oil pan and it has a little ring at the top, a metal ring. And this guy here sits like this and it seals it to the oil pan. But look at this ring. I mean, it's freaking gone. This car is leaking oil so bad. And it wasn't necessarily when it was running, is when you park it, if you park it on a little bit of a slant to the driver's side, it would just pour out, man. So. Uh, last week I tapped the dipstick back in with a piece of wood and that slowed it down tremendously until I got a chance to fix it. Uh, so this is where we're at with it right now. Uh, you want to start off by pulling off the disavalve and that goes right here. Uh, of course you take the air box off which is laying right there. The air box is just two bolts right here and that pops off. Uh, one thing you want to do, you want to make sure your disavow is good while you're in here. I did videos before on this. You want to flip it and make sure there's no play in it. And there's a little little hole right there. You want to hold your, you want to flip it all the way. You want to hold your finger over the hole, and you want to make sure it goes back. See how I can hold it? If you hold your finger on the hole and it just pops back like nothing, you need a new one. Uh, the disavow that flips over so when you floor it it gives a lot more air uh, so anyway while you're in here you're gonna want to check out this guy here you want to check out the throttle body boot you want to inspect this little hose for any cracks in the little ribs of it and you're gonna want to go down here and you don't have to do this I'm gonna do it on this car this car is a daily driver I'm gonna go ahead and pull off that air, idle air control valve We'll clean it. We'll go and pull the throttle body, clean it. I'm just going to try to get my hands on as much stuff in here as I possibly can. You can see the oil, man. You can see it on camera or not. It's freaking just running out of this thing. So the most important thing you're going to want to do when you replace it, you want to slide. You're going to want to clean all this crap out first. You want to slide the new o-ring up on the shaft. You're going to want to pick it up. When you put it down in the oil pan, from up top, you're going to put it down in there. The bolt's not going to line up. The stick's going to be too high. You're going to take a small block of wood, and you're going to want to tap the, the dipstick down in there. It's going to go in another quarter to three-eighths of an inch. It's going to lock in. Then you know you're good. Uh, so this is a really common leak on almost any BMW. Uh, another thing to watch out for also, if this thing's blowing out like this, uh, that's supposed to hold vacuum with the CCV. This thing had the oil catch can. You can see it sitting over there. I got it back out of the way. Uh, that is going to be a vacuum leak. Uh, also an oil leak. So the only thing I do with these oil rings, I just go to Lowe's, uh, Home Depot. You can match up an oil ring. And you get the same size. A lot of guys try to go a little fatter with it. I don't know if I would do that or not. Um, and this is a pretty regular maintenance item. I would say if you're ever in here taking this stuff out, you want to check on that. Uh, that could definitely stain up your driveway pretty bad and cause all kinds of issues.